Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to this video. I'm Holly Wright. I'm a Weber State Doctor of Nurse Practitioner student. We're going to talk about best practices on bed bugs. We'll learn lots of things today. We're going to talk about five different areas the basics, the rash, the infestation, how to treat the patient, and how to fix and prevent the problem. Bed bugs are five to seven millimeters in length, and they range in size from a flax seed to an apple seed. Bed bugs, as you can see here, are a reddish brown in color. Bed bugs have been around plaguing humans for about 3,500 years. The bed bug nymphs are small and yellow, straw colored. The bed bug eggs are white and oblong. The United States went for about 40 years without hardly any bed bug sightings. In fact, the phrase, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, had little meaning until the early 1990s when they began to resurface. Bed bugs eat about once every five to seven days. Bed bugs do change shape and plump up after a nice meal. Over here on the right, you can see a large black object. That is the head of a screw. Right inside that screw hole is a bed bug hiding with her eggs. Let's talk about some bed bug basic behaviors. Once a week, the bed bugs eat. About every five to seven days in the early morning hours when people are sleeping. About 70% of the bed bugs are usually hiding right on the bed itself. Bed bugs primarily eat human blood and they are nocturnal, meaning they are up at night and they are rarely seen during the day. Bed bugs can happen to anyone, rich, poor, any community. It is important to note that 90% of the bed bugs in a room are found within three feet of a bed. It is important to note that bed bugs cannot fly and they cannot jump or hop, but they have been known to climb up a wall and drop from a ceiling to reach their host. These ink spots on the wood bed frame are there from the bed bug excrement. If you see a lot of tiny black ink spots, you could have an infestation. Bed bugs especially love wood, cloth, carpet paper, dark crevices, cardboard, and you. Bed bugs and diagnosing. Over here on the left side of the screen, you see a woman who has some bed bug bites. You'll notice that the bites are on areas of the skin that can be easily exposed while someone is sleeping. Over here in the second column, we have three calendar days to represent that it may take three days, even up to 11 days, before a bed bug bite turns into a rash. A typical bed bug rash is three bites in a row, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A common reaction to a bed bug looks similar to a mosquito bite. However, they can also cause lesions like wheels, vesicles, bullae, and even anaphylaxis. Bed bugs cause intense suffering to those who have them. A bed bug bite without treatment, however, will disappear and heal after five to 14 days. The woman here shows an example of how exasperating it is to our patients who have bed bugs. Over here on the right though, an elderly woman is shown here smiling because the elderly have an increased tolerance and may have no reaction to bed bug bites. In fact, up to 30% of the total population have absolutely no reaction. In order to identify bed bug infestations in your patient's home, ask them about these six important clues. Black ink fecal spots on the bed, wall, and furniture are a sign of bed bugs. Have your patient look for small blood spots or specks on their sheets and bedding. Have your patients watch for tiny white oblong bed bug eggs. They are about one millimeter in size and look like a tiny grain of rice. Another clue of bed bug infestations in the home are the skins that are left behind the bed bugs after molting. Of course, if you see a bed bug, that's a definite sign that you have them. And an interesting clue that not many know, if there is a sweet musky odor, this could be a sign of a major infestation. Research has shown a three-pronged approach to bed bug ailments for our patients has been most effective. These include skin treatment, eradication at the home, and a mental health assessment. 
A skin treatment for bed bug rash includes oral, topical, and even systemic corticosteroids. It is important to note that patients cannot get better without an eradication of an infestation. In fact, physicians are at the forefront of diagnosing, treating, and helping patients get rid of the problem. If a bed bug infestation is suspected, a mental health evaluation is an important part of treating the patient properly. Many patients experience anxiety, sleeplessness, and emotional distress. Watch for exasperation, PTSD, and even suicidality. Educating patients and stopping the problem. Stopping the bed bug problem at home is the only way to solve the problem. They need to be taught to remove clutter from the floors, vacuum carpets, floors, even cracks and crevices. It is important to dust all areas with diatomaceous earth, which is very inexpensive. Diatomaceous earth kills all bed bugs that have contact with it after two weeks. Do not recommend bug bombs or chemical foggers as they increase the spread of the bed bugs into the structure or the home and make the problem worse. It is important to put mattresses and box springs inside bed bug proof encasements. Use high heat to wash and dry all bedding. Washing alone will not kill the bed bugs and the eggs, but you must dry in high heat in order to kill the eggs as well. Preventing bed bugs from returning to your patient's environment can be done by teaching them to place their clothing and bedding in plastic storage bin or in plastic bags if they are staying in a place that is known to have bed bugs. Teach your patients to not accept any furniture or clothing unless they have inspected it and found it bed bug free. Vacuum and clean clutter regularly. If working in an environment that is known to have bed bugs, do not bring personal items, backpacks, or purses. A new and promising method using cardboard to trap and catch bed bugs is worth looking into. WinnipegBedBugHeating.com, as well as the CDC and the EPA, have very good information about bed bugs. Did you know that bed bugs can live from 2 to 18 months without a meal? It's kind of scary. Do-it-yourself eradication is not preferred, but it is possible. It's a lot of work, but you can do it. Here's a summary about stopping and preventing bed bugs. Feel free to screenshot it. I hope this helps. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you and try to answer every single one. Bed bugs primarily eat human blood and they are nocturnal, meaning that can be easily exposed while someone is sleeping. Over here in the second column, and it's important to know that bed bugs do not fly. They have teeny tiny wings, ink spots. You could have an infestation. Bed bugs especially love wood, cloth, carpet paper, dark crevices, cardboard, and you. Let's look at diagnosing bed bugs. What are we looking for? 